Okay, so in this last part I'm going to show you some the materials uh, that I've created for the scope. And let's start with a simple one. You can see that this red pipe have something like a plastic pipe, a transparent plastic pipe around it. So let's find this material, this material. And it's called transparent plastic. Very simple material. All you have to do is create a new material. Go here, change blend mode to translucent. And change translucent lighting mode to TLM surface it's better in my opinion er, er, than this volumetric directional or non-directional so TLM surface and of course we have a value that controls the amount of the opacity in this case is 0.8 and of course the texture and the texture is multiply by 0 0.5 uh, because I wanted to make it a little bit darker when we multiply by the one the texture will not change where when we multiply it by the zero uh, the texture will go completely dark so to make it uh, a little bit darker, I've just multiplied a texture by a 0 0.5. So this one was just for the for this uh, pipe. And of course the texture that I've used to create this is just our the same texture. Uh, is used for the scope and laser sight. Uh, let's see what we've got here also. The front glass, uh, glass part of the scope, I want it to be not transparent. I want it to have a, a reflective color, so I've created something like a really basic glass material which have roughness set to zero if we go to one we have almost no reflections if we go to zero we have a hundred percent reflection and the base color is just a gray grayish color so this is the front glass material very simple so what, what else we have? We have to create some lines and, and this red arrow and of course the front glass. So for this inside part, because I wanted to put this arrow and the lines a little bit inside of the scope, this material is applied on the mesh that I've created and I can show you this in Maya really quickly you can see I've created this small mesh and the texture is applied for this mesh so let's maybe quickly see the material And this is this one, glass inside. So you can see that the base texture is completely black. So black, black base texture is zero. It's a black color. And we are using the opacity that is stored in the alpha channel of this texture 
of course we are using one minus to flip this texture and we are using the red channel of this texture which controls this red arrow uh, to multiply this mask by the color and it's going to emissive color so we can change the emissive color here if we go with a green we will have a yellow color so let's maybe switch to this texture this one so you can see I've done the, the similar process for this texture like for the main weapon for example in different channels I have different uh, masks in red channel I have mask for the arrow in green channel I have another mask for the front glass in blue channel I have probably nothing or and in alpha channel I have the arrow and the black lines so let's switch to Photoshop right now so you can see I have PSD file of this file of this mask file so you can see I've created a ring with some inner shadows and I've multiplied this ring by the texture that looks like this it's just a metal texture with some scratches that I wanted to be visible so I've multiplied this and I get something like this of course I have had to desaturate this image and of course all these lines very simple stuff the arrow was created with some shapes that are, are available in Photoshop so nothing fancy something like this so let's switch to Unreal and let's talk about this material this material that is inside is simple we've been talking about this one it's just transparent material without any reflections etc but I wanted to have some reflections on this front glass and this was a challenge for me not maybe a big challenge but it was difficult at first because we want to have some reflections while we keep our weapon for example in this position but when we are seeing through the scope we don't want to have any reflections that will uh, make us uh, see uh, really badly through this scope uh, so let's maybe create let's maybe try to create a material like this go to new create material let's uh, put a name test material oh, like this and let's apply it to this front glass so we want this material to be a black with some reflections and this is very cool very simple but we want it to be transparent because when we, we want to have ability to see through the scope 
Uh, to make a transparent material in Unreal, we just have to use a translucency. So if we click on this, we have some options. To make these channels opacity and opacity mask, we have to change the blend mode to translucent, for example, or, or masked when we want to use mask. Let's change it to translucent. And we want to apply uh, some opacity. So let's maybe try a value of 1. And we will see what we will get. So we get something like this, which is which is just a black color and let's maybe change to a zero and right now it's totally transparent so it's it's hundred percent transparent when we go with a point five we have also 100% transparency. So you can see we are not able to achieve something like a half transparent material here. And that's because this is the, the cause that this material was uh, difficult for me. So we can create something like layered material in Unreal. This is new ability in Unreal 4. We can create some material functions and blend them together and this allows us to blend two different completely different materials together. So let's start making something like this. Let's create our first material function. We go here new material textures and let's create material function, not material but material function. Let's open this. This looks like a material editor, but except this uh, main node, we have something like output result. So we want to make some parameters. Let's type make, make material attributes. Let's bring something like this. Let's connect this to our output preview. And right now we are able to start creating our material, li material like it's a normal material. So let's put a 0 and 0 to the roughness. This will create a black material that is 100% reflective. Let's apply. And this is our first material. We can create our second material, but I'm going to skip this uh, part because actually we don't need a se second material. So the third step is to create a third material that will blend, that will be blending these materials. Let's create a new material. Blend test material. I know you might be a little bit confused and because this is a pretty difficult a blend material. In blend material we want to um, bring our function. We want to bring our function here in the window. Our function was called uh,
test material glass. So drag and drop in here. And we want to use a material simple. This node allows us to blend two different materials. And let's connect this glass material function to the base material. And normally if we are mixing two materials, we won't have one material function for the base material and the second material for the top material. And we are controlling the alpha by some image or something like this. But in this case, we can plug the same material to this one. And for the alpha, we can use zero. Right now, I'm going to bring a node called break, break material attributes. Connect this, and from this break material attributes, we want to extract a base color and the roughness. course let's switch this by selecting this node we can switch this to translucent again we can switch it to the surface to enable separate transparency and let's check if our opacity will work right now let's create Zero point five and apply to the opacity. So you can see already it's changing the, in here in the this preview window. So it's good news that it's changing. Let's create this zero point five and apply the changes. So our material is called blend test material. Blend test material and let's apply it to the front part. So you can see everything works the way it should work. We have some transparency and we have also some reflections going on on the surface of this glass part. Okay. But the good thing about this is that the opacity channel works perfectly and we can bring here our mask that we've created. And I'm talking about this image, this one. And we can use this image because in the, let's check. In the green channel, we have stored our image that we've created. And I'm talking about these scratches and this dirt on the glass. So it's on the green channel. We can plug this in here. And of course, we have to invert this because our mask should be flipped. So use one minus node to do this. Let's check the result. So the result is pretty okay. You can see that we are seeing some of these scratches that are appearing. So the result is pretty good.
this is how our shader looks. So, for example, if we are going, if we want, for example, uh, take these reflections a little bit down, we have to increase the opacity. And we can increase, for example, opacity by just uh, multiplying the opacity channel by a number, let's say, uh, 0 0.5 or, or up if we, our alpha is inverted. Let's do this actually. Material blend test. So if we are, for example, multiply this result by the one, nothing will change. But if we are going to do this by 0 0.5 it's it's more transparent so our reflections also will be less visible you can see it works but I have I want to have some more reflections so let's stick with this Okay, uh, one more thing we can use for the preview because we want to see how this might look in our game when we are zooming in. I've created a camera here and we can see a little preview of this camera. And I've set the field of view to 15 because the default is 90, so it's not really good for for this. Let's put a 15 back. So you can see we have a preview here. Of course, the scope is not zooming; it's just you can just see through this, but to make it really uh, work like a scope or we will need probably a help of a technical artist or a programmer because we are not able to do this by adjusting some material properties for example it's probably more advanced so you can see we, we can rotate something like this and see how this looks in this preview window So maybe the uh, red arrow is a little bit too small, I am not sure, maybe I will make it bigger. But for now it looks pretty okay. Of course we have to put this part, this side, uh, in a flat position because right now it's standing so I think we will finish our tutorial right here thank you for watching I hope all these weapons will be available in Unreal in Marketplace so you can of course use a tutorial 
project files for learning purposes but for commercial using of these assets you will have to probably buy it on the unreal marketplace it won't be an, it will not be ex expensive so don't worry you know we have great prices so thank you for watching and i hope we will make more great tutorials bye